guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new 10 looks using one palette series on my channel. In this series, I'm highlighting the James Charles Morphe palette. This palette is so beautiful. I was so happy. I don't know how, but I totally snagged it on its launch date, which I didn't remember it was launching that day till a little bit later. So I was so surprised that I was able to snag it. I think I actually ended up buying it on Ulta. Or maybe not. I can't remember. I am so excited to play with this palette. This palette has so many bright, beautiful colors, so many combinations. I am so excited for this palette. You guys know if you've been around for a while, I love playing with color. Like, that is my favorite. Just bright, colorful eyeshadow looks. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. And if you want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, just keep watching. I am still sick, so ignore my voice. I thought I was getting better. I'm not. So this is what the palette looks like if you have not seen it. It is beautiful. My eyes are primed with concealer and set with powder. Picking up this Morphe M518, I'm gonna pick up Punch Me and lay that down as a transition shade. Then on a Morphe M573, I'm taking Code James and I am going to work that into the crease and blend it up. That turned out a lot more orange than I was expecting it. Next, picking up 10% off on a Morphe M433, I am just working that in the outer corner. Then I'm gonna pick up face on a packing brush and spray that with a setting spray. And I'm gonna put that all over the inner half of the lid. Taking that brush with 10% off, I'm just going to blend over those edges. I'm going to pick up Code James again on this M573 and bring a little more of that orange back into the top. I am going to take a little packing brush, this is a BH Cosmetics number 9, and pick up a flashback. I'm gonna clean up right under my brow and then in with that first brush to blend the very edges. I'm gonna go in and add a wing. I'm pulling out my backup. I think this one is about out. But this is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. Okay, so that is the closest I'm gonna get to matching liner. This one looks pretty good for me. This one's a little wonky, just ignore that one. So now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't think I've ever actually tried this, but I got it in my BoxyCharm, so I'm gonna use it. Then I'm just gonna pop on these lashes. I believe there are Dell lashes, but I'm not 100% sure. They're just, I didn't put them back in their box or anything, so I have no clue. Guys, so my lashes are drying and I'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to finish up the eyes. Okay guys, so I just finished filming a random roundup on this face makeup, so if you want to see that, it will be coming up next. But I'm going to finish up this eye look really quick. I love how this eye look turned out. I think I'm just going to take the same shades that I took on the top, basically. Taking 10% off on this flat definer brush from Luxie. I'm gonna push that right next to the waterline. And I only went about two thirds of the way in. Then on this Kiri Cosmetics pencil brush, picking up Code James and smoking that out. Then on this little detail brush, I'm gonna pick up Ring Light. Put that on the inner corner. Dragging it up and down. Whoa. 
that is the kind of brightened inner corner I love. The one color I loved for my inner corner highlight was in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I think this one might be brighter. That was a beautiful highlight. And then I'm just gonna go right under the arch of my brow. Then taking the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in, in the shade Metallic Copper and I'm gonna put that on the waterline. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. This is look number one in my 10 looks using one palette series highlighting the James Charles Morphe palette. I went with an orangey, very warm, smoky eye. Pretty simple, but I thought it was a good way to start out this series. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. I upload three every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.